Welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Superstar. Woo! Actually, Kirby's Dream Collection Episode 17. Oh, there we go. No, it, it works either way. We're going into the Great oh. Cave <laughs> Offensive. Yes! Mm. I would argue that uh, this is probably one of the most challenging games in the uh, in the entire collection. That is if you're trying to 100% it. Story is Kirby falls down a hole, and, well, that's how he got here. Oh. So this is Undertale. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to start a petition and make Nintendo apologize for copying Undertale. All right, well, we're going to... I said no. Why did they show me the <laughs> tutorial anyway? That makes no sense. <laughs> Would you like to see the tutorial, yes or yes? <laughs> well, I don't know why Kirby just can't leave. I mean... <laughs> Well, because then we'd have no plot. Kirby can't fly. Anyway, this is Great Cave Offensive. Yeah. So, what type of game is this? Because I saw it difficulty four, but this is Kirby we're talking about. So, is this just like, is it a collection of different things you got to do, or you got to collect money? Apparently, it's pretty much one big world, like a. You remember in Smash Four, uh, uh, the, the stage, the Great Cave Offensive. Oh, yeah, that, that one. That's pretty much the whole game condensed to one screen. Oh, my God. So, yeah, we're going to be going through this whole cave. It's split up into four sections. Mm -hmm. This is section one, and each has about, uh, let's say, 15 to 20 treasures or so. Whoa. And the true challenge in this game, the true, true, true challenge, my friend, comes in getting all of the treasures. There are 60 of them. Oh my gosh. 60 is quite a lot. Yeah. For for just one mini game that, well, one micro-sized Kirby game that is about as long as Dynablade is, and having 60 treasures in there. Mm-hmm. That's like 15 treasures per. That's 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 nothing to sneeze at. No, that's pretty ridiculous. And, uh -huh. you know, the mm -hmm. power of the Super Nintendo, we're, we're finally seeing it in, in action here. We are. This is the su this is where the super and superstar comes in. <laughs> well, it's double super because superstar and Super Nintendo, so double the super. That means we gotta you know up the ante a bit. That's why they had to make it ultra because well, by the time that the, <laughs> the DS came out, we've already been supered and ultra and mega and hypered out. So it's all right. For this one, we got to go through a series of switches and a series ah. of timed doors. This is made much easier with Wing because it is slightly faster than Kirby by himself. Nice. That's how you get the crystal ball. Pay attention. You might notice an obvious Easter egg or two. Hmm. So, something uh, from like an editor's perspective. This is all in one take, right? Maybe. Um. For now, yes. Okay. <laughs> Because I'm thinking with 60 collectibles in total, is there a way to go back to the different segments, or...? Uh, there is, but it's a bit of a long haul if you want to go all the way back, so we got to make sure you're thorough here. Gotcha. Some of them are pretty complicated, some of them are just downright means, and uh, most of them here are, well, pretty, pretty fucking obvious. Yeah, I noticed that uh, that last one, that the first puzzle, the real puzzle you had to do, the lava mm -hmm. wall showed up, which blocked you from getting that, so that's kind of mean. Yeah, this is very fast-paced, so I can't explain everything and do comedy, so... Nah, that's alright. That's why I feel like there's two people going on here. There's Passy DJ, who has got his hyper-gaming skills going on, trying to <laughs> get all 60 treasures and not die! <laughs> and then there's Present UDJ, who's just making an ass of what past of what uh, Passy DJ's efforts were all about. God, anyway. look at my playing. Look how bad it is. But sometimes they combine into present UDJ, and he talks about the game that's going on right now. So here, we'll use Beam here. We will uh, destroy the statue, oh. which drops that chest. And uh, these chests can be destroyed. So we got to make sure that we went over these blocks so it doesn't fall right into the lava. We got to make sure we grab it quick because this block will disappear. Oh, shoot. And the chests will explode. They do respawn. You can like leave the room and come back. Oh, okay. I don't think there are any, like, one-way doors, so it's not quite like Kirby and the Amazing Mirror or whatever. <laughs> hey, but... look at that! Hey, screw ball or screw attack. I think it's screw attack in Kirby Superstar Ultra or whatever. Sure. Oh, they actually fixed it? I don't know. But yeah, some of them can be uh, pretty tricky, like uh, this one here. 
That was a good right. dredger. I really like that one. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you fucking will. Here it is. Oh! Oh. Hechigo candy. Ooh. I could go for that. So are a lot of these treasures based off Japanese culture? Because I saw the cat statue. And I know, them, yeah. I know those exist. I mean, you got your gold coins, you got your dollar bills, mm -hmm. you know, but you, you got your king's crowns, but you also got your Japanese stuff too, and you got your Nintendo Easter eggs. Just a whole bunch of treasure here. There's a whole bunch of shit to get. Good, good. We're still here at the uh, first part of the game where these treasures are the easiest to get, where you don't even have to think, and if you just are a little bit thorough, you'll find them all. Some of these seem not overly complicated, but like a... I guess if you play this enough, you'll eventually figure out how to do a lot of this stuff, but... Man. But now we're getting to the true genius of Kirby games now, aren't we? A little bit, yeah, I see it. The fact how we are now getting directly involved with the level itself, looking for everything, trying to explore every inch, instead of just finding the next door and blazing right on through. Ooh. Oh, zebra mask. Yeah, that was a oh. reference of Super, Super Mario 2, right? Yes, it was. I'll, I'll just, I'll, what, probably not, but I'll take it anyway. No, it looked exactly like it. I'll go with that. Those stupid masks that follow you everywhere. How about Phantom of the Opera? I'll go with that, too. Okay. The Gerard Butler one? <laughs> uh, <laughs> man. You know, I used to like that movie. <laughs> but then I tried watching it again, like, uh, back, like, like 2008 it, or whatever. It's bad. And I was bored. <laughs> it's so bad. And it's not like I don't like musicals, because musicals are fine and all, but fucking, that's just really boring for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know how my opinion of it soured so bad. I actually went to a live performance of Phantom of the Opera, like, on a big stage and everything. I feel like and, that would have been better. Well, it actually was better, and the best... Ah, you died. But the yeah, best thing you. about it was they had a moving set, and Ooh. having a moving set, you know, while the... While the lead goes down to the uh, Phantoms part of the theater, the entire set was actually turning as she was walking down these stairs. So one wrong move, she was falling off stage. <laughs> but she stuck the landing, so... Not saying she fell off, I mean, she did it perfectly. Fortunately, when you die, the chests that you've o already opened are opened. Oh, that's... brilliant. But however, if I were to just quit without saving, ah, then... Yes. Yeah, well. I think even if you get a game over, they still carry over. That's the power of temp data you're working with. Yeah! Go get him, uh, Krako Minion. What? Oh, there we go. He was just a pawn. <laughs> Alright, let's get back on track. Not that I don't <laughs> mind talking about Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> ah, shit! Let's get back some sophisticated talk in this Let's Play, okay? Let's talk about all the different plays we've seen. Starstone! Ooh! It's Starfy! Oh yeah, does... is there any point to the amounts that they have here? Uh... Well, if you get all 60, you will end up with 999-9990. Ah... Wait, zero? Because, well, there's nothing that is nine gold. Oh, true. It always has a zero. Well, I was just thinking, uh, if the if the Super Henny, Super Nintendo, not Super NES, if it ever reaches, you know, six, seven, nine, nines, it'll eventually just hit the kill screen in Kirby, so we don't want to do that. I don't think it really does that. Maybe the Nintendo entertainment system would do that because it would cause an overflow, but I think the Super mm. Nintendo has a little bit better, and I think there's better coding in this game, too, so that doesn't happen. <laughs> it can handle ten digits. So as you can see, we're still on track. Oh, good. We're all numbered up, and you hit the X button, and you can just check out all the treasure you collected, and if there's a gap, that means you missed some. Damn, Kirby, you're rich. So now you see here we need Cutter. Oh. Ah! <laughs> we need Cutter, yoink. Well, I guess we don't need uh, what I have. <clears throat> Fine, the... we'll just go get Cutter then, because there's a Cutter guy right out here. Oh, jeez. Thanks. Yeah. Good design. Now right. we have to watch for that guy who's stealing powers. Jerk. Yeah, we do. We do. 
Where is he gonna pop up there? Maybe if I go under Oh! Yeah, there he is, there he is. Oh! Oh, <laughs> Lord! I dropped like a fucking rock! No, no shit! <laughs> it took oh, you with damn. it! Oh, damn! Oh, damn! Yeah, have a little scream, Kirby, that's okay. I would laugh if that's really what was happening. Like, you play Superstar Ultra, and then you come to that point. Go ahead, Kirby, scream! Ah! Well, I like the, the, the personality I can give Kirby. I can have him scream, and I can have him just hanging head in shame. What? Quick kill. Oh, that was awesome. Be careful, though, because uh, if you do that without thinking, you could fuck yourself over in terms of a treasure. Mm-hmm. That's in the third section, I believe, where that can happen. I think my problem with playing Great Cave Offensive is, since I'm not a, you know, Kirby enthusiast, I think I would run into the problem of not knowing what power can do what, like what bricks they can break and everything, so there would be so many times I'd probably screw myself over. Well, there's not really so much uh, bricks that you can break here. That's more like a Kirby's Dream Land 2 and a Kirby 64 thing. But, uh, I mean, I, I think even sword will work with those ropes, too. Just a anything that can cut, anything that makes a cutting sound, oh. will probably end up working for you. Multiple things work in uh, Kirby Superstar. That's why it's such a well-designed group. Oh! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought little plasma guy was going to betray you. It's like, goodbye, Ban Kirby. Bandana, 1990. I bet that's a reference to, like, Street Fighter or something. Eh, probably. I may just be trying to find uh, Easter eggs where they don't exist, but, eh, you know. But that's the fun of Kirby! Of course! It's like the only Easter egg I know is always go for the moon, and wouldn't you know it, the one time I tried it, you were right! Because you do it in Kirby's Dream Land and get, like, the best secret in the game. It's, and it's, it's just what you do. You find a HAL room and an extra bonus in Kirby Triple Deluxe. Yes. And yes, even in fucking Robobot, I think. You think? If I remember right. Aww. Oh well, guess I have to play it again. Oh darn. Uh, got oh, me there, gosh, son. dang it. Shit. Ah, uh, darn, darny dang. Oh. Dar darny dang indeed. <laughs> <laughs> well, he just telefragged into the wall. <laughs> Good job, Kirby. So apparently, it, you can just, uh, like, slide into him, because you can't, like, inhale him and eat him. Hmm. But, uh, if you, yeah, if you just slide into him, you automatically get your power back. I thought there'd be, like, an animation or something, but nope, you just get it. Okay. It's so, alright. Uh, Ooh. Here's another, here's another Mode 7 boss. <gasps> oh, what? Fatty Whale. That's his name? That's his name. Fatty Whale. Whoa. I love but, plasma. Uh, ah. Yeah, it seems to be doing a lot. Oh, shit. He is mode sevening the shit out of this. Not anymore, though, because he... Wow, that was very mode seven. That was the most mode seven. Most <laughs> seven. Yes. All right, so here is the transition from stage to stage. Oh, no way. A little trolley section. Just go through. Take a little time to catch your breath. Make sure that do you indeed have all the treasures that you need to get so far? Where and we kill everything, apparently. And just take take a little ride, and uh, there you go. Next level. Oh. This is the crystal area. Ooh. We got a little bit of time, so I think we can uh, do a little bit of exploring here, I think. So there's a chest right here. It's a dime. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what if that was the one treasure that was worth the nine you needed for all nines? But nope, we got glass slippers instead. Jeez. Just finding See, those in the wall. See, uh, glass slippers, and it's like 120, you know, like tw like 12 o'clock midnight, 12 zero 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 zero. It's, you know, Cinderella. Yeah. Uh-huh. <coughs> yeah, Wait. just keep, keep doing your research, although I like where your head's at. You know, I just think I'm just finding Easter eggs and they don't even exist, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> Eventually you're going to start making up games so that these Easter eggs that you're making actually exist. All right, so uh, the trick for this stage is that there's three different rooms. Two mm -hmm. of them will loop back and one of them goes forward. 
We got ah. the diamond and the slipper here, so it looks like we're all caught up in treasures, so let's see if we can't check out this one room first and see what all we can find in here. Because each three of these rooms are chock full of treasures. Oh my gosh. For example, cool. this one. For example, this one here. Switch here. Careful. Mm -hmm. And go, go, go! Wow. Because that shit just drops down, you gotta go exit the room and try again. Well, that's one thing you would only miss once, I would think. Yeah, you gotta... Well, see, if you hit that switch, you don't know that's, that chest is coming. Mmm, right. So it's... I guess it's trial and error, but it's also teaching you, hey, you can leave and come back, maybe. Mm-hmm. Does the song keep restarting? No, it just kind of loops. Anyway, do crash here. I think there's other ways to do this, but crash works best for me. Oh. And you get this treasure. The brass knuckle. Oh, sweet! What Only one, you, though. What would you want with the brass knuckle, Kirby? Do you even have knuckles? <laughs> he just put puts it on his little fins or whatever he has. <laughs> uh, uh. Mm -hmm. uh, there's another nice. one. Ah, oh, so many treasures. Amber Rose. You see, that's from the uh, the Super Famicom game Rose and Twilight. Actually, it was first seen in the Game Boy game Hokendaku no Zenatsu Gatsu Gen Goken. <laughs> uh, let's see the box art of that, Jim. <laughs> Good luck Why with that, you... fucker! Why would you make me do that? Why? 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 <laughs> I told you you'd end up making up games. <laughs> so maybe cover up the fact we got two treasures from that room. Hey, that was a great room. I loved it. Let, let's see that shit again. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't do it. No, I did it anyway because it was for the sake of the walkthrough because it's, people are here to laugh and they're here to learn. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna wait for the payback. I got nunchucks! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Poppy Brothers! Can I escape from there? No, I can't. No, no, no. And this loops us right back. Oh, nice! There you uh -oh. go. Ah! And, and... This takes cool. us right back out to the main, and we'll check out the other two rooms next time on Let's Play Kirby's Dream Collection Superstar Ultra... Thing. Ultra Triple Deluxe. Planet. Robobot. Switch. And Knuckles. <laughs>